Hello everyone. Welcome to my nursery. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Vicki. And I welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, so glad you could stop by my nursery and visit with me. Guys, this will be an update on my silicone painting. Mama of this little baby right here. This is the Alex Sculpt by Claire Taylor. Partial silicone. Uh, she was wanting an update. So I told her I'd try to get her one on today. So here you go, Mama of Alex. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to let you see what I'm up to right now. Guys, I've got all of her painting done except for another few layers. Uh, guys, we tried to do her in a dark color. I did. She wanted to try, not real, real dark, but just a little bit darker. I tried and it was looking blotchy. Really blotchy, guys. It was turning out really super blotchy. And I didn't want to mess this baby up. This baby is this bit of baby. This is a Claire Taylor baby. It's not cheap. Just a blank kit, which is the head, the arms, the legs, and a belly plate. It's right at almost $900. That's just the kit, you know. Um, well, I think the body comes with it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you get the body. And she does send the rings and stuff to go on it. But it's right at $900. Yeah. So... Anyway, there there she is. I wanted ever, her mama especially to see an update on her. I'm almost done with her painting. Let me bring her up a little closer so mama can see her. Uh, except for, I'm going to try to darken her down with a couple of more darker layers. We're going to try it and see how it goes. If not, then I'm just going to, I'll be putting on her final uh, matte powder coat. And I had to order some more powder, guys. I was almost out. And I had to wait till I got some money to do it with. So, it'll be another week, maybe, before I get it in. It should be in, though, one day next week. Pretty soon, like, maybe Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. And I will, bit there, I will get her final matte coats on, matte powder coat on. But I am going to try to do a little darker color for Mama. I'm going to try it one more time and see how it goes. After I, see, I tried that. Really, I try to get their skin tone when I first get them, like, um... Uh, vinyl or whatever you know i try to get the skin tone right first and then i paint over it like with the veins the um modeling all that blushing and then i go over you know then i do that over the top of that but it was looking splotchy so now that i've got this on everything on, i'm gonna try going over it to get the darker a little bit darker color uh after i got all this on so i'm gonna try it one more time and if it doesn't work, it turns out splotchy looking, I'll just take it off and we'll do her final matte powder coat. That'll be it. But I'm let Mama see her. She's turning out beautiful. She's turning out really good, guys. And Mama. I wanted Mama to see her. Especially Mama. There's the top of her head. See her splotching the mottling? She's turning out real pretty, guys. Now I'm under real super bright lights. There's four in my uh, ceiling fan above me, and they are the daylight bulbs. So they're giving you a pretty true to color. I hope my camera's doing pretty true to color. Uh, what I've got on her. And uh, yeah, she's looking good though, isn't she? Now when I do her matte powder coat, see how shiny she is? She won't be shiny no more, guys. That takes away the shine, the stickiness, all that. So that's what that does, and it's, it's permanent. Okay, there's her head. Here's her little her little tummy plate. This is a gender neutral, guys, so you can make this baby into a uh, a girl or a boy. Either one because it's gender neutral. It doesn't show any, it don't have really any baby parts. It just goes on the tummy for like pictures and stuff like that, you know. So there's it. Uh, here's a little arm. Mama, see it. Now, the shininess won't be there when I get through. Remember, I'm not through yet. And here's another little hand and arm. Look at that little finger down. Isn't that pretty? Too, this this darker red's looking here like, you know. When I put that matte powder on, it times, uh, turns it the this darker reds. It takes some of the reddish out of them, too. Because it, it, you do this dark, this, all this. And then when you put that uh, final matte coat on, it's a powder. It's white powder. It, it tones this down some, too. So it won't be that red. See? And here's a little leg. She's turning out beautiful. See? Little toes and little nails. 
And then here's the other one. Little red toes. And like I say, the matte powder will take this, which I'm going to try to do some more uh, skin layers over it too. And I'll take this color down some, this red color. It'll go down some more. And you can see here, look at this, guys. Every, look, see? Every piece of lint, fuzz, dirt. That's the reason why I'm not working on them. I keep them covered with a towel, an old towel, which is clean. It's just, it's an old towel, but it's clean. I wash them, keep them clean. Uh, you don't want hairs and stuff all over it. So that's how I do that. But anyway, mama, there's your baby. Okay, now we're going to move on to Nana Helen silicones, and I'm going to move you over, guys. I hope I don't lose the camera enough enough my... Sorry. Sorry if I made you sick there. So sorry. Uh, I done done this video once. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to splice these together. I accidentally uh, turned the camera off. So we'll have to splice them together, but that ain't no, that's no problem. I'll just splice them together. Um, yeah. So I brought the camera over here because I want to show you Nana Helen's silicones while I've got done. Well, she gave me the little girl for doing her little boy. Now, guys, I can't show you the private parts because he is anatomically correct. So, he does have boy parts. But I'm going to bring him up so Nana can see him. Now, I'll be putting more layers on him, too. I gave him... He was already painted, guys. If you look back at some other videos, you'll see. I'll try to, I'll try to put a link in here in the video so you can go back and see when I first got him. He also had hair. I took all that hair out, as you can see. The hair was gone. I repainted his whole body. I have to cover up his little privates, or they'll flag me, guys. But you can see I gave him lots of beautiful reds. Look at that. Now, guys, he's not going to be this red because I'm still doing um, flesh part of uh, flesh coats, and of course his matting powder. Like I told you, in the eye on the other one, take him down. He's shiny now, but he won't be when I get through with him. I'm just showing an update on what I got done. And this is the little girl silicone she gave me for doing her boy. Which I told her, I said, Nanny, you don't got to give me anything because she gave me a beautiful baby uh, for Christmas that she made and herself. And I was doing this, you know, as a gift. But she said she wanted me to have her. So I told her, I said, I feel like I'm taking your baby from you. She said, no, I want, I, I want you to have her. I was going to ask you if you wanted her, you know, regardless of whether you've done the painting for my boy and reading or not. So I said, sure. If, if you know, she said, I want you to have her. So I said, sure, I'll, she's pretty when I get, I'll give her a new paint job and give her some hair and she'll be gorgeous. Uh, guys, um, her lips when I got her was just a real, like a pink, like a hot pink. And I put this over it. It did cover it some, uh, so it's, it's, but it's, it's pretty bright. So I'm thinking that maybe I can use another color of that to tone this color of the lips down just a little bit. I don't like their lips that red. Kind of makes them look like a lipstick on. So, um, but they were already painted. It's the reason they're coming out. So I'm trying to come up with a color that I can just go right back over the top of those lips to tone that down a little bit more so her lips won't be as red. I'll show you her head. There's her veins. Can you see her veining? She turned out really pretty. She is anatomically correct too, guys. I can't show you her privates. But now, this one came to me a lot redder than the other one. And she's like pretty red, guys. She kind of looks like she's been laying out in the sun. And got a sunburn. So I'm going to go over her with some flesh layers too. Some lighter colors to tone that red down in her. Because she came to me that way. I just, um, I just went over her with my, uh, you know, doing veins, blushing, mottling, that type thing. And uh, she is pretty red. So I'm going to tone her down with some flesh colors. Hopefully I can get her toned down some door. She's not as red. And so that's what I've got going on right now. But I hope Nana likes what she sees. There's her baby. And like I say, he's not going to be this red, guys. He will be toned down. But I think he's turned out beautiful. He looks, looks like a little preemie baby. Isn't he pretty? And he's going to have some blonde hair. I'll root him with blonde. Um, I've got to ask Nana. Nana, you get in touch with me. Uh, I, did, I forgot to ask, do you want... To, we know blonde hair, but do you want curly or straight? So you let me know, Nana, so I'll know what to order on, on him. For him. But yeah. Isn't he pretty? He's going to be a cutie. 
She's going to be so pretty. I've not decided yet what color hair I'm going to give her. Hmm, guys, I just don't know. I just don't know yet. It hasn't come to me. kind of thought about it one time doing like a strawberry blonde. I love it a lot, strawberry blonde. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Okay. But yeah, there's them. And back over here, we'll come back over this way. And there's the Alex. So Mama can see her. Uh, guys, I did want to show you a few more things. I told you I'd get it, show them to you when I got them in. And this is what I bought for my new baby that's coming in. The real new baby. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cover this baby up with a towel. And, uh... Yeah, I wanted to show you what all I got extra for the baby. This will be her, um, if she's here in time, still no baby yet, guys. If she's here in time for, um, Easter, this is the, the last few things that I got in from Bye Bye Baby. And so I told you, I'll let you see. Uh, this is a mint green, beautiful little dress. I got it on sale, guys. I think I got this one for, I can't remember. It had a, I don't know, it's got the, the, it was 24, and I think I got it, it was like, it was either 9.99 or it was, it may have been a little more 11.99. Excuse me, one or the other. So I got it for that. And it is a mint, it's called a mint, and it's like a um, onesie underneath, and then it's got this beautiful overlay, very soft, it's not stiff like the tool, it's more like a, like a lace over it and then it's all got the little tool and under it but this tool is not real scratchy or nothing it's really soft and it's got the little butterfly sleeves it also came with a little headband to match and guys i wanted her to have this on for easter plus but they're going to be too big uh, you know i ordered them small but they're going to be too big look at these beautiful tights i was going to put these little pretty tights on her i got her they call rumba tights. They've got that ruffle on the butt. Very soft. I thought maybe I might wash these and dry them. They might dry them up a little bit more. Because I'm afraid they're going to be too big. And these definitely I got for for Easter. They're going to be too big, guys. I'll show you. But they're so cute. She can wear them later, of course. But I was wanting them to be her Easter shoes. And these are a zero to six. But, guys, these things are big. They're black patent leather shoe. They've got the, uh, like the little uh, scalloped around the edge of them they got a bow a satin bow and then this comes crossed and goes through another little thing here and buckles on the sides aren't they pretty these are just called baby baby fashion shoes and on the bottom it says baby i ordered these and the tights from amazon but they're beautiful they wasn't expensive either i think these were 9.99 i think but they're going to be too big for a write-off. So, I don't know. I might have to crochet her some little booties. That's what I thought I might do. See? There's the little tights. Maybe if I... You think if I wash them, everybody think I wash them and dry them in the dryer, it would hurt them. And maybe it might dry them up a little bit. She can wear them. If not, I know they're going to be big. And I got her that for her Easter outfit. And then I got her this, guys. This is beautiful. I had to have it from Bye Bye Baby when I ordered the others and just got it in the other day. It's the, it's got little, it's like the little footed pants. Beautiful roses on it. The top is, got embroidered roses at the top. It snaps down the front with beautiful white satin bows. And it's white with pink, pink polka dots. And then it came with this hat. This is, um, what was this one? Little Me. And it's got that same, the hat in the same color of the pants. With those beautiful roses on it. And it's got a pretty, on the hand, it's got a pretty bow. This is a little me. I got it on sale at Bye Bye Baby for $10.99. And you know the retail price on this thing was $44. And I got it for $10.99 on sale. Isn't that nice? It says Super Soft Luxury Cotton. This is uh, very soft. This is from Bye Bye Baby. They did have that sale still going on. I don't know if they still do or not. Guys, you better go over and look if you want any of this stuff on sale. And I also went ahead and got her this. It was on sale also. It was $3.99 for the headband. It don't go with none of this, but it goes with some of her. It'll go with some of her other clothes. This is a Addie and Tate 
headband. It was on sale for $3.99. Very cute. It's like, uh, see that? It's like it's been knitted in three different things. But they've just put a, it's, it's an all-together thing, but they've just put this in between to give it some, a decorative stitch in between these rows. And then they put a big, beautiful, sparkly bow on it with tool. I mean, flower on it with tool. And it is a pink with some, uh, the tool has got like little silver dots, shiny, shiny silver dots all over it. And I got that on sale. Uh, there at Bye Bye Baby also is Addie and Tate. So she can wear that later with some of her little dresses or whatever. And yeah, I just thought I'd update you on the clothes I've got. And that's all I've got for now, guys. I'm not going to get no more, I don't think, in newborn because she is covered up right now in newborn and zero to three. So I don't think I'm going to buy any more in that size because she will be outgrown them. If I buy anything, it'll go like, I'll go to like three to six months and buy some stuff, you know, if I find any sales and put them back. And then she'll have stuff to go into as soon as she outgrows all this. And guys, you know what the best thing about this is? When she outgrows all this newborn and zero to three stuff, they go to my dollies. All this stuff goes to my dollies. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> And there's your little shoes. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, thank you for tuning in. It's a little bit of a long video. I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking with me if you stayed with me for this long. And I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to come and visit with me. And I guess that's it. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do so appreciate you. And I'll be back soon for a new video. And y'all guys come back, okay? And, uh, yeah, if you're not subscri subscribed, please, please consider subscribing to me and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video. And uh, hit the like button so uh, it will help to push out my videos on YouTube. Okay, guys, that's it. Talk soon. New video. Bye-bye.